C couldn't make it this evening. So I'm gonna try my best. I'm I'm Reverend Curl and I'm the check out feedback. I'm the interim uh, senior pastor here at uh, Freedom in Christ Ministries. And uh, we want to welcome you. We want to welcome you here to our first anniversary. <laughs> this church, well, I got a, I got a, pastor knows I bought a puppy a little over a year ago. And that puppy now has been to school. He's been to obedience school. And he's done a lot of things that will make him a better dog. You know, and, and that's sometimes how we are as humans. You know, we have to go through growing pains you know, to become better at what God has asked us to do. And so, you know, that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to go through those growing pains and we're trying to stick together. And we are trying to serve the Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we want to welcome you today to uh, uh, to our one year anniversary and we're so glad that you were able to be with us. Yeah. So glad. And, and and we don't have a lot of our members here today. We have more members than than, than what it appears, but a lot of them uh, either work evenings or uh, different things, had other obligations and so forth. So uh, we are going to go forward with who we got. Amen. Amen. And, and, and that's what we have to do. We have to stay ready. And we have to go with who we got. And God brings who should be here, here. And we're going to be blessed. Amen. Amen. We're going to be blessed. And, and, and you know what? We're going to have a Holy Ghost good time. And, 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 and God done told me that, that we, and, and so I'm going to guarantee it. If God said it, then we, we going to have it. Right. I'm going to guarantee it. Okay. Cause God said it. And if he said it, that's what's going to happen. Okay. So we're going to have a good time this evening. Uh, I want to welcome you. As I said, we thank you for joining us. And this is inside your program. We thank you for joining us to celebrate our one year anniversary. Amen. In opening the doors to this church in the midst yes. of a pandemic to losing our leader. Okay, Pastor Danny, uh, Lady Nicole's husband, passed away from the COVID. And so he started a works. He started a works, and 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 you know, God is uh, one that will keep your works going. You know, he would he would keep your works going. If God has you start something, he's gonna see it to to its conclusion. You know, so 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 we just we just thank God for for Pastor Danny uh, for this church keeping on even though it lost its 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 backbone. It lost it, you know it lost the man that had the vision to start this church. But you know you know God always has something like I said God always has something to carry on his work. And so um, a friend of mine asked me if I would take on the responsibility of helping this church continue on its journey, and that's what I did. You know, sometimes you have to be, uh, and I'll tell you a funny story, um, and my pastor knows this. I 
told God, told God that I wanted more opportunity to preach. Okay? I told God, I said, God, I want more opportunity to preach. And, you know, you got to watch what you ask God for. You got to watch what you ask God for. Because he has a funny way of doing, giving you your prayer sometimes. So I asked God, I said, and I told Pastor, I said, Pastor, I, I you know, I want, I asked God if I could, with that I want to preach more. And at Martin Luther King, we have 11 associate ministers. And so you preach about once every five years there. So, <laughs> so I was, I, I didn't see a lot of opportunity at Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Baptist Church. So then, at least to preach. There's a lot of opportunity to do ministry, but preaching, you know, with 11 associates, that's hard. So, so next thing I know, a friend of mine called me, pastor friend of mine called me and said, man, there's this church, they need a senior pastor. And I said, oh yeah? And he said, he said, yeah. He said, uh, they looking for a senior pastor. And uh, they don't have a lot of money or anything, but they're looking for somebody to help continue them on their journey. And I said, man, well, I'll meet with them and stuff, and then I'll, I'll, I'll pray about it. You know, you always got to pray about it. When God, when God sets you on the journey, you always got to, you want to hear from God, you know. And so I prayed about it, and we talked, uh, the, me and the church uh, leaders, and you know they said they wanted me to come and help them uh, be the interim, and I was just crazy enough to do that. I said yes, you know, and and so I've been here since early since May. I think I think they asked me to come and preach my first yeah. sermon, and I felt like I was doing a trial sermon. I was like, boy, this feels like a trial sermon. <laughs> trial sermon back in May. But you know, I love this church. You know, and I love the people. And 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 so, you know, I I'm 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 just getting real close to the people here at, at the church, you know. And God, and it says God has sustained us and remained in control, held us close and loved on us through it all. Through it all. Through it all. Being and then Philippians 1 and 6 is the scripture we have here. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. Amen? Amen. Amen. So again, we just want to welcome you. You know, this is our formal welcome. So, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Does somebody want to give a Somebody from another church want to give a response to that welcome. Somebody from another church. Well, we from Father Light Corner our Church. I'm just glad to be here. I'm our pastor, Pastor Palmer. Um, we're just glad to be here to celebrate your church anniversary. And we remember Brother Kenneth when he come to the brothers' meeting at Cornelia Church. Amen. We're just here to praise God and give Him glory. Amen. 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 And that kind of got me started on my way to really doing some some ministry stuff too. So uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, that uh, that brothers' fellowship was really really something. I remember we used to go to the smorgasbord and eat breakfast too. That's probably where I got all this weight. <laughs> and I ain't saying that, but that's probably where I got a lot of this weight. <clears throat> But uh, anybody else? Anybody else want to respond to that welcome? Anybody else? Okay. Well, we're gonna move right along then. We're gonna move right along, and we thank you for uh, that word. We thank you for that word. And now we're gonna have the uh, Pastor Palmer has joined us, and we're gonna have the praise team from Cornelia come and honor us with uh with in song with the a and b selection
Queen. Uh, we have another mic. Another mic. Two. We got the orange one over there. Amen. We honor the Lord tonight. And we thank Him. We thank Him for being in the house of God one more time. The song says, Awesome. He can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Amen.
and pointed out to me. Well, first I want to say, boy, they, they set us on fire. Amen. Amen. But, but they sang that they sang them songs. Boy, oh my God. I'm gonna have to call the fire department here in a, in a few minutes if this keeps up. Lord have mercy. But we really, really, that was really something there. So I'm gonna back up because I missed something that's been pointed out to me. I missed the reflection. Miss Nina, do you wanna come up and give me the reflection? Before we do reflections, I'd like to read our mission, the mission for freedom, uh, freedom in Christ Ministries and our vision. Our mission here is to win souls for the kingdom of God through preaching and teaching the freedom that the love of Jesus Christ brings by encouraging the reading of the Holy Bible, while engaging the individual gifts from the Holy Spirit that allows you to freely worship and praise God. Our version, our vision, I'm sorry, our vision is to build a community full of God's people, focused on worshiping and praising God, motivated by the love of and for Jesus Christ and others. So, and the belief that we stand on here at Freedom in Christ Ministries, it is for the freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. That's Galatians 5.1. Thank you. So um, our reflections here, we'll start with, um, it's been a year. It has been a long year. God has really stayed with us, pulled us through, stayed on our hearts. Brother Danny, Pastor Danny, what a soldier, what a soldier for Christ. I mean, he was the spirit, that door that opened up. Danny was everything that freedom in Christ was and what we hope to be. It was all through Danny's spirit, <clears throat> Danny's love of God, his true, true love of God. He was just so... He was so wonderful. Um, it's been a year. It's been a year. It has truly, truly been a blessed year. We had started this church. This when we came in this church, it was a building. It was a building that needed overhaul, love, support. It needed it all. Danny oversaw every bit of that. COVID struck, closed the doors, and he was determined. He was determined. We started with our Zoom meetings through all the follies, everything that Zoom entails. We were there, and ah, we were there, Danny kept us on, Danny honestly, honestly kept us on that, that mission and kept that vision alive in us. And that vision has not died. Uh, when Pastor Danny got sick, it just spurred a new strength in us. And, uh, you know, we want to see this vision through. We want to see Danny's heart come to pass and God willing and God has been willing he has stayed with us we have I just keep going back to it because that's all I can tell you it's been a year it has been a beautiful hardship and this is a blessed blessed year for us to be sharing this with you we are just not to be redundant but we are so blessed to be able to be here through all of these obstacles. So that's my reflection. That is my reflection. So I will ask anybody else to come.
will share a reflection with Pastor Danny. Yeah, I will. Patrick. It's been one year. Yes. And before that one year, it was a uh, man's dream and hope. Before the building was, was picked out, it was one man's dream to bring freedom in Christ. Well, I remember we got together. I worked for Danny driving his trucks. And so I was uh, a little bit more involved than a lot of the other members. But we all got together and we, out, we looked at a different building and we picked this one out. And it was nothing. It looked like more like a, a jail cell. Gray walls, floors all messed up. And Danny saw a vision and with that vision was a lot of hard work. Me and he, uh, him and me, along with some of the other members, would spend hours upon hours working on this building. And then when, when it was time to leave, Danny would still be here. He had to finish the floor. He had to finish this. He'll be, he'll be done soon. All right, Danny, I'll see you later. Same thing every day. Danny, I'm taking off now. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm right behind you. I just got this to do. I leave him, he'd be, come back and have the floor be already done. But that was only a vision. The only thing he really cared about was to get the word out. Freedom in Christ, the word. And that's what kept him going. That's what kept me going was the, what, what he instilled. In. What he had, I wanted. And so he worked hard to bring this all together. And I wanted to work that hard just to bring it back together. And we were like a, one giant family. We are, a lot of members not here, but they've been saying the same thing. We're one giant family. And I just want to thank you guys for coming out. And I want to, um, like I said, it's been a year. And I look forward to more and more years. And it was Danny who done that for us. So thank you. Well, I, I didn't know Pastor Danny, but I've watched some of the old video and uh, and so it's kind of like I know him, even though it's all been through, through video. And, you know, it, it's a pleasure for, for me and an honor for me to be here to help continue what he started to be to be used by God to help continue what he's he started and uh, you know like I said it's just a just a testament to the love that the members had for this man and the love that he had for God because through the love he had for God it's the members have picked up that same spirit. And so it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's interesting to watch God work sometimes, you know, and see the thing manifest <clears throat> that he does. But moving on, uh, we're gonna have words of encouragement from Pastor Joe Palmer.
first uh, giving honor to God to the Freedom of Christ Ministries, to the pastor, the elders, and first lady Nicole, and uh, I don't know your husband, I never met him, but I can feel the spirit of the love in the church. And so and I wish and pray for you the very best and that God uh, bless you with support to keep your husband's great vision alive. And uh, I know uh, Reverend Pearl, and our pastor, is a good man, and he loves God. This is your pastor, right? Yes. yes and he speaks so highly of <laughs> you. I had to get that in. And uh, uh, yeah, my pastor, my pastor. So, and that's, uh, uh, two can't walk together except they agree. And so I thank God for that. Uh, I was asked to give words of encouragement and uh, your, uh, your building, your, your chapel, your church. Uh, it takes me back. And sometimes it's good to reflect back. Sometimes it's good to reflect back because uh, God can, uh, God reminds you of where he can take you. And he also lets you know where he brought you from. Yeah. And so the best is yet to come. Because when you trust God, God will sustain you. And God will keep you. And God will bless you. And I thank God for that. And I thank God, uh, as I was looking around, I was saying, because we started out in a warehouse. And uh, like the brother was saying, there was nothing. We had the uh, people, brothers and sisters came together and build the, uh, the pool pit yes. and, uh, and uh, paint it and uh -huh. put in carpet and you name it, we had to do that. And God has blessed us since to have our own building to pay for and all of that. But that's all of God. And uh, as long as you've got the right spirit, uh, God will lead and guide you and you will accomplish great things. Great feats happen when you trust God and when you rely on him and not self. And uh, uh, I'm glad I came because it, it, it makes me think, you know, sometimes you get caught up into where you are now and uh, where you're going. And that's kind of how I think. But when I see, uh, when I got here tonight, it reminded me of what God can do. And I am so grateful to God. And I'm grateful for meeting all of you. And I hope that the words that I say will inspire and encourage you. Because with no vision, the people perish. And so keep your vision, keep your focus. The Reverend Crow and I pretty much talk every day. And uh, we are both very political. And uh, and we believe in, in, we agree on a lot of things. And uh, he's taught me a lot on how to uh, because see, when we're, when we're in church, you know, we we get so spiritual that sometimes we forget the natural. But the natural comes first, and then the spiritual. And uh, the natural has led me into knowing that I need God, that I cannot accomplish anything of myself, and that if I trust God and acknowledge Him in all my ways, the Bible talks about in Proverbs 3, that he will direct my paths. He talks about, be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord, depart for evil. It will be healthy to thy neighbor, moral to thy goals. Talks about honoring God with everything we have, our substance, and we will increase. And that's another thing. Get behind the vision and support it. And uh, if you get behind the vision and support it, God will take you where he wants to take you. And, and most of all, love each other. Love each other. Work together. And there's nothing you can't accomplish. Uh, and, you know, that, that's, that's the key. Just work together. Love and uh, care about each other. And work together. And you will see the greatness of God. God bless. Amen. Uh, and I hope I'm
Thank you for those words of encouragement, Pastor Palmer. And it looked like he walked off with my program. So, so I'm going to get a new one here. Is she? Okay. All right. So we're going to move right into... Um, we did have um, a music selection and words of encouragement from Apostle James, but I, I see they can't make it tonight. So we're going to move right into our giving. And so we're going to ask you to um, give what you can. And uh, anything you can give, we appreciate it. And if you can't give, that's okay too. But we, um, we have the, um, um, the, the bucket here that you can come up and, and, and put your cash offerings in. We also have, um, we can take a card. Uh, Lady Nicole, did you bring that? Yeah, because I'm gonna have to use my card. So we're gonna, uh, we also, Lady Nicole will be in the back and we can use our card he has the square or some, something to that effect. And uh, and then we also have a cash app. And we can get you that if you need cash app, if you need to use the cash app. So can we have some music, uh, Patrick? Some music, and we'll go ahead and do our offering. And then... Um, I'll come back and introduce the speaker of the hour. Okay? this offering. Father God, we thank you so much for those in attendance, Lord, because they could have been somewhere else, but they chose to be here. And we know that it was not happenstance that they're here. And we just say thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Lord, we uh, thank you for this offering. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we uh, 
just ask that you bless it and that you multiply it for your use because it is not for us. It is to help build up your kingdom, Lord. And so we just say thank you for the, the givers and those that were unable to give. Lord, because you have set us on this path and we are letting you lead us in, and it is your will and not ours. And so, Lord, we, 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 we not only we pledge to you that we will use this money for your purpose. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And amen. And I see my wife is driving around trying to find a car. I have seen her go back and forth a few times already. And I was trying to wait for her to get in here. But I guess she's going to have to slip in the back when she does find her her park and, and makes it into the building. And y'all will be watching me up here so y'all won't be seeing her when she slips in anyway. All right? Okay. I want you guys to, uh, I, I, this is like being on an airplane. Uh, I'm going to introduce my pastor, uh, uh, Reverend J Johnny Jernell Youngblood. And, and I spelled his middle name wrong because I call him Johnny Janelle. So that's my, my bad. But he did point that out to me. But it's like, it's like, an, air, it's like an airplane. I'm going to say this. I want you to, to, to set back. I, I mean, not put your seat belt, seat back. But I want you to put your seat belt on. And I want you to stay in your seat for this man of God, because when he when he when he when he preaches, okay, it is going to take you on a ride, and you are going to be transformed by the word that he is going to give us today. This is a man that can flat out preach and so we are so blessed to have him today and 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 they say what the best thing to do with a preacher is let him preach and so preach preacher preach i'm introducing the reverend dr johnny janelle youngblood amen
And uh, but but she handles it real well. And Marilyn Gibbs, who who heads us up and heads up our audio visual, and she just you know they they make me look good. All right, and that that's a lot of work. So I'm grateful for them. <laughs> Savior, do not pass. 
for the reading of God's word. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, says, and the King James rendering is this, says, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. And be not entangled again in bondage. Forever, Lord, is thy word settled in heaven. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Once again, stand fast. Therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. And be not entangled again in bondage. If I had to tag this text with a title briefly, I want to attempt to talk about freedom in Christ. Amen. Freedom in Christ. Yo, one of my greatest fears is to live an unfulfilled life. It is my greatest fear to live life and basically uh, not fulfill the purpose that God has yes. given to me. Yes. We all recognize that even as we move forward rather rapidly in this year, we understand that we'll, we'll be coming up on some holidays, we'll be coming up on Labor Day, we'll be coming up on different days, Thanksgiving, but then we're also coming up on Christmas. And we, we understand that many a times there's a lot of pageantry that goes along with the holiday of Christmas. But one of the things that we, we get together and almost unfortunately it has become a cliche that basically we ought to keep Christ in Christmas. That's fine, but y'all, the challenge is we really got to look at it in depth a little bit, Pastor Palmer, because when we look at it in depth, we understand that when Jesus was there uh, in the manger, y'all, uh, there were some fellas that came to him and they brought him some gifts. The wise men came and they brought the gifts, and when they found Jesus, they brought him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They brought him gold because gold is the king of metals and Jesus was the king of kings. They brought him frankincense because frankincense is the bark of the tree that the priest would burn and use for incense. And priest comes from the Latin word potifex, which means bridge builder because Jesus was the one that bridged the gap between God and man. And they brought myrrh because myrrh was used to anoint and embalm bodies. Jesus was born in a stable, laid in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes, which was the equivalent of grave clothes, all because Jesus was born to die. So notice now, there's a Latin phrase called raison d'etre, our reason for being. So that y'all, when they brought the gifts to Jesus, they brought it to him, but they brought him so that he can fulfill his raison d'etre, his reason for being. And, and let's see, let's see, y'all looking at me real straight. Okay, let me help you with this real quick. Let's see if I can put it this way. Lady Nicole, what, what I love about God is this. When I read Psalms 27, you know, it opens up, the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me, to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. So y'all, what are you saying, young blood? What I'm trying to tell you, Lady Nicole, is this. The last time I checked a little bit in school, this is what I've discovered, is that it says, the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Now, is is a present verb which means right now, right now. Yeah. so now y'all it's 7 25 p.m. that means the Lord is right now yeah. but later on at 7 30 if you say the Lord is yeah. then that means he oh, is yeah. at 7 30 yeah. listen y'all still ain't helping me 
if it goes on to midnight and he said the Lord is at midnight, then that means the Lord is at midnight. Is is a present tense verb, which means when you say it, God is right there at that moment. But what I love about God is that God didn't leave us hanging. Because verse 2 says when, which is an adverb of time. When the wicked, E-D, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled, E-D, and fell. All that's past it. So y'all, but then it doesn't stop there because verse 3 says, though, which is future tense. Oh, I wish I had somebody pray with me here. What are you talking about, young blood? That means God is right now. It was God who took care of us back then, and it will be God who will take care of us in the future. So what I love about God is that there is no spot where God is not. God always bumps into himself because he's from everlasting to everlasting. So, so watch this, watch this. So God says, young blood, I done laid it out for you already, man. All you got to do is check my record. Yeah. If you check my record, you know that I've been good to you. Matter of fact, I've been better to you than you can be to yourself. Yeah. Say, all right, Lord, all right, all right, I got you. So, so now, y'all, as we use this as a substratum thread to connect the text, and then we're going to get up out of here. Watch this now. He says in the text, stand fast, therefore, <laughs> right, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, yeah, yeah. and be not entangled again yes. in bondage. Y'all yeah, yeah. just have some fun, unpack the text real quick, and then we're going to hit the Popeyes. What's this name? Stand fast. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Therefore, uh -huh. now last time I checked, what I've discovered is that if you ever see therefore in a text, you need to know that therefore is there for a reason. Right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So he says, stand fast. Yes. Therefore. Uh -huh. yep. So so stop right there. The first thing you got to understand about freedom is Christ, in, in freedom in Christ, is that you've got to understand. Uh, basically the perseverance of freedom. That freedom gives us the wherewithal to stand even in the midst of adversity and God says, listen, you go ahead on and do what you need to do and I'm going to stand up in you. That means, y'all, with whatever comes up against you, Lady Nicole, understand that there is a freedom that Jesus died. Watch this. Jesus died for our freedom. All right? And then we understand that Pastor Danny transitioned again so that leaving behind a legacy. So the fact of the matter is that there is perseverance in freedom that even, watch this, y'all, well, I can prove it to you. We, we wasn't allowed to vote. Mm -hmm. But we still here. Yeah. We, we, we had predatory lending. Yeah. Yes. But we still here. Yes. Yeah. There was a dude that just got out of the White House. Y'all uh, ain't going to help me preach. <laughs> but we still here. Yeah. And understand that even, even the founding fathers pinned on paper around the 200 line of the preamble to the Constitution. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and are endowed with certain inalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But yet, while that was pinned on paper, Abe Lincoln turned around and said we were only three-fifths human beings. So what, what, what about the contradiction? But the fact is, he says, Stand fast. Yeah. That, that, yeah, there were folk that came up against you, but stand fast. Yeah, there were people that lied on you, but stand fast. Yeah, there were issues that you had to face, but yeah. stand fast. Yeah, I understand that somebody may have walked out on you, but stand fast. Yeah, you may have gotten a pink slip, but stand fast. Yeah, the company may have downsized, but stand fast. He says, stand fast, therefore. Now, now watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. That, that also stand fast, therefore, yes. 
And again, therefore is therefore a reason, and it is a, a conjunctive adjective. Therefore, a conjunctive adjective, which means it is connecting something, but it's also highlighting or modifying what was previously said. Let's see if I can do it like this. Stand fast. Therefore, in the liberty of, uh, of Christ. Right? So watch this. He said, stand fast, therefore. The reason you can stand fast is because Christ is the one that done paid the price. And Christ paid the price so that you can stand. He didn't pay the price so that we can cower. He didn't pay the price so that we can just fold up shop and close the door. He didn't pay the price so that we can live mediocre. And y'all know that even T.I. declared, I don't want no mediocre chick. And if T.I. didn't want a mediocre chick, certainly God don't want, uh, we don't have a mediocre God, and he don't want mediocre things. He says, he says, understand this, understand that there's a perseverance that's there. That's why you can stand. As a matter of fact, it said after, I believe it was uh, Donnie McClurkin who declared a few years ago, after you've done all to stand, you just stand. Even when you've thrown in the towel, guess what? You can still stand. Let me see, because y'all ain't quite feeling me. I can see it on your mask. Y'all ain't feeling me like I need you to feel me. Let, let's see, in other words, let me put it like this. Uh, uh, in, I'm from New Orleans, born and raised, right? Down south, right? And, and, and the thing is this, y'all. I ain't always had steaks. <laughs> I ain't always had steaks. But, but, but somebody in here with me, you ain't always had steaks. Right, 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 right. But you sure enough had some pork chop. Let's see, okay, you ain't feeling me on that one. All right, all right, all right, listen, 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 listen. You ain't always had instant grits. But somebody know about Farina. Are y'all gonna pray with me? You ain't always had cheese with the paper on both sides. Somebody know about government cheese that you had to pull out the freezer, sit it out on the corner countertop for about an hour or so till it, till it thawed out and you gotta push down on it just to make you watch this Trayvon you know about a sandwich but back in the days we had a sandwich yeah. <laughs> ah y'all ain't praying with me y'all ain't praying with me so 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 watch this watch this, watch this. God says the reason you can stand, you, the reason you can stand, the reason you can stand. All right, thank you, God. God, God love me. All right, God love me. Her husband don't, but she does. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, now that's my guy. That's my guy. Watch this. Now. Watch this. He said, stand. He said, he said, there's a perseverance. He said, the reason you can stand is because Christ done already paid the price. There is something called a propitiation that Christ has paid the price in full. Let, let's see if I can drive it home. I, I, look, I was standing out front and I was looking at these wonderful buildings. You know, I love kind of the old school kind of stuff. You know, every now and then you got to get away from the big city stuff and all that. You know, just, I, I love I love these streets and the way the buildings are arranged. And, and, and there's a story that said a little boy, a um, little boy made a, a little boat. And he put the boat in a stream. And y'all, Pastor, the, the current of the stream took it out to a river. And then the river led out to the lake. And then, y'all, the little boy grabbed a tree branch and tried to pull it in, but he couldn't get it. He grabbed a piece of rope, and he threw it out there, and he couldn't get it. Y'all, he grabbed a big stick and threw it out there and was trying to get it to come back to him. His, his prized possession that he had, and it got carried away in the current. And so now, y'all, it went all the way out to the sea. Lo and behold, the little boy was walking through his town one day, and he was walking down Main Street, and Lady Nicole, he looked up in the window. And when he looked up in the window, guess what he saw? 
his little boat that he made with his own hand. And, and the little boy went in, and the little boy went in, and he said, uh, excuse me, sir, uh, but that's my boat. And the owner looked at him and said, what are you talking about? He said, that's my boat. I made that boat with my own hands, but there was a current that took it, and it got away from me. It, it went down the stream into a river, and the river into a lake, and the lake into the ocean. It, but that's my boat. And the owner of the store said, well, that may be your boat and you may have uh, made it, that you may have made the boat. It might be yours, but in order to get it, you got to pay the price. He said, but listen, that, that was my boat. He said, if, if you want your boat back, you got to pay the price. Yes. So, so what are you talking about, young blood? Well, well y'all, one day, God, the architect, got in touch with God, the contractor. God, the contractor, got in touch with God, the laborer. All three of them reached back through nowhere, grabbed nothing, brought nothing back through nowhere, threw nothing up in the air and said, let there be, and there was. God. God said, let us, in Genesis 1, 26, make man in our image and after our likeness and imago day in the image of God he made man and y'all the man was there but all of a sudden something happened in the God and what happened in the God man got away from God and all of a sudden y'all God wanted to get man back he he wanted to get him back and there were several fellows that tried but they just couldn't do it y'all they couldn't do it Moses tried to do it but Moses couldn't do it because uh, he had killed the Egyptian soldier and buried him in the sand. And then he had the nerve to walk around the Egyptian post office talking about thou shalt not kill. And he had already killed the fellow. So no, Moses couldn't do it. No, what, 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 about, what about Daniel? No, Daniel, Daniel couldn't do it. He tried, but he really uh, couldn't do it. Y'all, what about Ezekiel? No, we'd have thought Ezekiel was high and sniffing some stuff because Ezekiel was looking at wheels in the middle of a wheel, and he saw stuff that nobody else saw. So no, we'd have just dismissed Ezekiel. Well, what about, uh, what about David? No, David couldn't do it because David played the peeping Tom, and he looked out at Bathsheba sunbathing and recognized that there was something going on there and had you Uriah killed. So no, David couldn't do it. Well, what about Solomon? Solomon couldn't do it. Solomon had 700 wives, 300 concubines. He was too tired to be anybody's savior. No, Solomon couldn't do it. Well, what about some of those other guys? Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Rebekah, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. No, none of them guys could do it. Jesus said, get me a body ready. And I'll go and redeem man unto myself. So, so I says, y'all again, he said, I made some provisions for you already. Stand in the provisions that I made for you. Now watch this, watch this, and I'm gone. Watch this now. Look, he says, in the liberty wherewith Christ has set us free. Y'all, there, there's a power that is there in the liberty, in the freedom that Christ has paid for us. So we know that Christ is the one in charge. Come on, sir. We understand that, again, he has made us free. And those, yeah, yeah. kind of feel some pushing me now. But those whom the Son set free yeah. is free indeed. Yeah. But look at what he said. Y'all, lastly, he said, and be not entangled with the yoke of bondage again. Uh -huh. He says, in other words, I've set you free. Yeah. And he says, in other words, that yeah, you've had some ups and some downs. Yeah. But please know that I am with you. So I believe I've got some witnesses in here yes. that can testify that we've had some good days. Yeah. We've had some hills to climb. Yeah. We've had some weary days. And we've had some lonely nights. But when we look around and we think things over, all of our good days, 
I'll weigh our bad days. We'll say thank you, Lord. I won't complain. So my brothers and my sisters, walk in your freedom. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep walking with your head held high because you've been through the storm and the rain. But thanks be to God, you made it. Because guess what? The songwriter even goes on and says that sometimes our clouds hang low. We can hardly see the road. We ask the question, Lord and Nicole, you've asked it. Why so much pain? But he knows what's best for you. And he knows what's best for freedom in Christ. So you just keep on thanking God. You can thank him for every mountain he's brought you over. You can thank him for every trial he's seen you through. You can thank him for every bless. You can say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody say yeah, yeah. say yeah. yeah, say yeah, oh. Y'all, y'all can take the seat belts off yet. Freedom in Christ. Lord have mercy. Nobody could do it but Jesus. Isn't that something? Nobody, all the names that he named couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Jesus had to take off his godly attributes and put on a body born in a manger in order to save us. Isn't that something? But aren't we glad that he did? Aren't we glad for freedom in Christ? Huh? freedom that we couldn't have got no other way but through Jesus. Amen. And Jesus, we want you to know that we're going to just work it out and we're going to keep it going and, 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 and what he did will not be in vain in this church. What he did will not be in vain. And I just want to thank y'all for coming coming tonight, you know, uh, because I know on Saturday night y'all could have been, no, no, I, no, I ain't gonna say this. I ain't gonna say this. I better not say it at the, at the Esquire or something, but, but, but y'all could have been at Popeyes, huh? <laughs> could have been watching the Seahawks, Seahawks play tonight. But I really thank you for coming and 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 let us let us pray and we're gonna give the benediction and then we do have some refreshments in the back, okay? So we'd like for y'all to stay with us and help us eat some of this cake. Because we don't wanna have to take it all home. Lady Nicole don't wanna have to take it all home, she said. <laughs> so uh, let's stand for prayer and, and the benediction, those that are able to to stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for this day, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the word that has gone forth. We thank you for those that were able to come out and fellowship with us on our one year anniversary. But most of all, we thank you, Lord, for continuing us on the journey that we have started and seeing us through hard times, seeing us through hard times and bringing us on the other side. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Ghost, because we couldn't do it without you. We couldn't do it without you. Amen. And now
now for the benediction. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, but to present you faultless from the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God be glory and majesty, dominion and power, now and ever. Go in peace. Amen. Amen. Again, we've got some food back here. Hopefully y'all don't have to, to run off and you can help us eat some of this cake.